morning, my name is Courtney and I will be teaching you about North America today. To begin, here is an image showing the seven continents, North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Asia, Australia, and Antarctica. You can see North America on the left side of the map directly above South America. America is the nation which we live in and it contains 50 states. Two of these states, Alaska and Hawaii, are not connected to the mainland. The United States has large mountain ranges, including the Rocky Mountains, which are not pictured, as well as the Appalachian Mountains. New York City is the largest city in America with a population of 8.5 million people. This map shows Canada, which is just above the United States. Because of Canada is far farther north, the temperatures are much colder. The winter temperatures can even be as cold as negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Toronto is the largest city in Canada and is the capital of the province of Ontario. This is a map of Iceland which lies east of Canada. Iceland has extremely diverse landforms, including glaciers, volcanoes, waterfalls, geysers, and sea cliffs. Mexico is a nation that is connected below the United States, connecting with the American states, California, Arizona, New Mexico, and Texas. The climate of Mexico is much hotter due to its southern location, and Mexico has rugged mountain ranges along the Central Plateau. Mexico City is the capital of Mexico, as well as the most populous city in North America at 8.85 million people. Central America encompasses the nations of Belize, Costa Rica, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, Nicaragua, and Panama. This is an image of the Pachuca River in northeastern Honduras, and it is a main source of communication and transport. Agriculture is a major employer of the people that live in South America. There are many island nations in the Caribbean. Major island nations include Cuba, Haiti, the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, and Jamaica. Caribbean nations are known for their beautiful beaches and receive lots of tourism. And here are my closing credits. 